Hello. Whoops. Gotta turn something back on. Oh my goodness. Happy Wednesday. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let's see if I turn this around. Oh my goodness. I don't know if anybody's. Oh my gal. Hello. Let me know if you're tuning in. In the meantime, I am. Look at that flipping view. I have to share. Let's see. Do, do, do. That view. Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday night. So I just posted on my Facebook page right before I got on here. Two minutes. Just shared. Oh my God. I am literally sitting here in awe. Uh, first off, I'm sitting here trying to, okay, there we go. I found me. Um, did y'all see that sunset? Oh, okay. I just posted on my Facebook page. If you have the chance to go look, uh, this was literally my view. Oh, you guys, just, just go look at my photos. I really needed that. I have been had there. We have had the most amazing sunsets. I don't even know what is going on. I should have checked my camera first. Okay. Yeah. My camera's working. <laughs> uh, I, 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 it's this time of year. It's pretty typical, typical, but oh my goodness. So, um, I'm just watching it in awe. It's so gorgeous. So if you get a chance, uh, go pop in and um, uh, look at my the pictures I just posted. Uh, it, ugh, God. Okay, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> he also gives you a look at my little getty up and my setup. So happy Wednesday. It's 527, I'm early. How is that possible? Hi guys, hi in Wisconsin. Let me let me say some hellos here. Um Connie, Pam, um, Anne, hi Anne, Vicky, Deborah, Martha, Connie. I feel like I'm singing there's like a bunch of background singers, like it's Connie and the Chanel's. Um Karen, Lisa with two S's. I always have to say that. Deborah I have to take my shoes off. Can't wait to paint one. Oh, I just finished all those lessons and pre-recorded that. All right, taking my shoes off. Um, I, I, Donna, Debbie, Robin, Deborah, Marty. Hi, Claudia, Denise, Carol, uh, Jackie. Oh my goodness, back again. All right. I had like a day. I don't even know how to describe my day. It wasn't a bad day. It wasn't a good day. It was a day. Jeanette, I love the spelling of your name. All right. I just shared the sunset. The show is just winding down. And um, I posted on my Facebook page because I am so... Oh, I just finished this two minutes before we went on. That was just two minutes. Uh, I'm now moving to the sea. <laughs> I am making a slight transition to the sea. So um, if you're wondering where I'm going now, I started sunrises, sunsets. So new watcher in Idaho, uh, Jen, welcome. So you guys oh you're liking that okay good that was a, it was a um i was experimenting with new watercolors that i got uh, i got a nice little gift from joyce at uh bow q creations so um it's wednesday i'm live also i just want you all to know that we have a very special person here and she sent me a very special message i will not share it unless she chooses to but she knows who she is and it's wonderful news um Anyway, sunsets and the sea push all my happy buttons. Oh my goodness, me too. I know. Me too. So um, I I I have been playing. 
months. You guys think I do nothing all day long, but I'm kidding. I, um, that, you know, I've all been working. I've been obsessed, uh, really obsessed, which by the way, this was our morning meditation. Oh, thank you, April. This was our morning meditation in your artful journey. It was so, was that, yeah, our morning meditation was actually a full page. Uh, Maureen says she's not gotten out of bed today, so she is probably wearing some wonderful pajamas. Uh, Maureen, I hope all is okay. I kind of feel like today would have been a lovely day to stay in bed and eat bonbons. Um, I don't know what bonbons are. <laughs> all right, so what are we going to do today? What am I going to do to blow your mind? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I do want to share one thing. The art journal, no. Okay, I want to share two things. The postcard challenge is amazing. You guys, I didn't even have to get out of my pajamas. I work from home today. Oh, I did have to get out of my pajamas. I was on live doing the postcard challenge. Uh, this was today's postcard, by the way. I loved it. This was the original. Uh, this is Friday's postcard because I'm psychic. Who's doing the postcard challenge with me? Raise your hand. Look at that. We're going to be playing around. We did this yesterday. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. And we did this the first day. I feel like I miss you all from just this morning. Um, we have... Is tomorrow my last day live of teaching? That? Oh, it's depressing. Okay, every time I end one of these challenges, it's like when you, the last day at camp, when you're sitting around the campfire and you're, I don't know, you don't want it to end. All right, good. Oh my God, isn't it great? Who's having fun? Who's having fun? Hmm. I'm having sleepy time tea at 5.32. You guys, are you enjoying it as much as I am? All right, if you are interested in joining my next challenge, mark your calendars, kids. And your Artful Journey members, I'm not going to tell you what February is about. I'll give you a hint. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to my February calendar, by the way. Uh, we have Facebook Live this week. Friday, I didn't mark it on my calendar yet. I'm on BoQ Creations. I'm taking over their Facebook page, so stay tuned and I'll share that to my page. That is free. I'll be using Dare to Be Artsy stuff. Um, I probably should write that in my calendar because so I don't forget. Uh... Oh, gal, you guys, thank you for this feedback. Okay, thank you for this feedback. I don't know what time. Okay, sorry, I'm updating my calendar. And then February. Um, the next challenge is the 8th through the 15th. No, the 8th through the 12th. And it's an art journal challenge. Your full journey members, totally free for you. <gasps> Wendy Rogers Van Somethingsdale. Van Arsdale. I thank you. I'm going to be on Bow Creations. If you want to share that Facebook page, you can go right ahead. Um, okay, uh, the next challenge. Oh, <laughs> Heart Challenge opens on February 8th. And I'm going to say, yeah, we're doing a, I, should I sneak peek it? Do you guys want to know what we're doing? Do you guys want to know what we're doing? Uh, uh, okay, we're doing that. And then I just want to let you know, if you're interested in being on the wait list for your Artful Journey, the doors open again in February. Okay, that's it. They shut them down. And if you want a month of sunrises and sunsets, that's how you get them. Okay, Vicki is so happy right now. I love that. All right, 
So uh, let's chat. Let's chitty chat. Let me, I always like to just start drawing so that those who just want to see me draw, good. We, I got little tricks and tips in that heart. I feel like this camera could be up higher. You know why? It's because I'm working on those postcards. Watch me mess with this. I'm, I'm working on those postcards and they're so little, so I have to, they're, I have to be in closer. Let's try this. Let's, okay. You can see my book while I chit chat, right? Um, any questions for me, by the way? Do everybody new who's never been here? Tonight is free. You have no obligation. If you have any questions for me, by all means, you can ask me. I do these. Why do I do these? I do them to share what I love and to get people interested in, um, in drawing. Um, I've also been taking my own challenge this week. Um... And it's been really introspective. It's a really big word for me. Um, I love this. People are people are saying anyone interested in membership, our tribe is the best safe space. It's so encouraging and friendly, best ever, 100%. I'm new. I'm in Australia. My daughter is doing the postcard challenge. Thank you. Julia joined the wait list today. Um, Dorothy likes my whale tail necklace. Uh, that is from Wyland Foundation. Thank you for saying that. Okay, all of you um, can stay in this classroom. So Wednesdays are free. Why do I do it? Because I want to share what I love. I talk about who I am, what I'm about. Today somebody said um, I'm very honest. Mm, yeah, I am. I need lipstick and makeup today. All right. Oh, Lots of Australia. By the way, um, today we were looking at the stats of people who signed up for the uh, postcard challenge, and there's a lot of people in Australia. I didn't, um, that's awesome for me. I love my tribe. That's what Lisa said, and I do too. Do you not feel it is the most wonderful, supportive, oh, April just said it, not just art, but love and support. You know, we don't bring the everyday shenanigans in. Uh, there's a lot of shenanigans going on. I would be um, and I would be wrong not to mention the shenanigans. Um, I am saddened by the shenanigans. I'm not going to go into them. Why? Because I choose not to, and that's why. Oh, and by the way, anybody um, we've talked last week about my new. Um, speaking of shenanigans, <laughs> this is painter's tape. Sorry, I'm just. Just painter's tape. It's about a half inch. Um, yeah, I, I forgot. I should answer questions as I go along, but I don't. Um, I like how Lisa just said that. The tribe is the best thing you've done for yourself. Uh, there's no mention of stick figures from this week. It was last week, the week we talked about the Naked David stick figure. <laughs> All right, I won't start that today. Um, it's Julia's first Wednesday. So, Julia, we do have um, a bit of a hazing ritual. You do have to bring snacks for all the people who are listening. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's nothing. It's free. You can just sit here and sit back and draw, draw with me. This is my art journal. And guess what? This page and this page. And then guess what I'm also doing? I'm moving up in this world. I'm moving on up, moving on up. What show is that from? Um, I'm going to go to a seven by 10 journal next month, next time, not next two days. I don't care. I'm going to go bigger. I'm going to switch it up. Mm. Dorothy said her first Wednesday snacks. I have lots of wine I'll share. Dorothy, the door is wide open. Stay. We welcome you. I prefer white. <laughs> Here we go. Lots of first timers. Okay. Thank you for saying the Jeffersons. Um, today, somebody noticed in my postcard challenge and sent me an email that they adored my singing. <laughs> okay. You might need a lot more wine. <gasps> Carol, Carol, I have to say a huge thank you, by the way. Okay. I'm coming in. I'm coming in full speed. Here we go. Hi. Welcome. I would like to thank Hanamule for being one of my sponsors and supporting me in all my creative endeavors. For you who are wondering what postcards I've been using, they are Hanamule postcards. Cold press. I'm sorry, I'm kissing up to the sponsor. All right, 
Just so you all know, the postcard challenge, that lovely tin that I have rocking and rolling, which by the way, it's time I got rid of this out of the bottom. Um, so the postcards I'm working on, they fit in this handy dandy little tin and I absolutely love the watercolor cards I've been working on. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because Carol's watching. Okay, um, just so you know as well, the postcard challenge peeps, at the end of this week, I got permission on Wednesday, which would be um, today, I sent an email and said, oh, Carol, by the way, can I give away, hold on, I don't know what I'm giving away, but um, Carol just said yes to whatever I said I was giving away, and I just want to share real quick. This was, ow, oh, I think I just cracked my hip. <laughs> oh, my God, that sounded old. Um, this is their zigzag album. Um, uh, I can get you a list. Uh, I, I will tell you, I know that there are, so oh, wait a minute. I got it. Oh, okay. Look at this. All right. So this is one of my zigzag albums that I started to play in. Isn't that cool? Isn't that nifty, swifty? So um, I'm going to be giving three of those away on Friday. They're the zigzag books. And I absolutely love them. They come in a bunch of sizes, including one that looks like it belongs in a dollhouse. I need that journal. So how you say that, I think I'm saying it right, is Hanemuel. I'm guessing it's German because there's an umlaut and my last name is German. So that is the dealio. Thank you, Carol, for popping in. And I'm sorry I have no makeup on. All right. So um, I'm obsessed. Uh, if can we buy? Of course you can buy. Yeah, um, I, I will get you Hannah Mule's website. Well, it's I mean it's super easy to spell. <laughs> yeah, I will I will tag Hannah Mule when I'm done on this. But it's H A H. Can I just can I just type this? Because you're all gonna H A H N E M U with a umlaut my four years of German and going to Germany are finally paying off. That would be Hanemuel. And I thank them because I neglected to email Carol before the week. And I just figured if, if all else goes to a bust, I'll just mail out three of the zigzag books that they gave me so generously. And I am going to, um, but she said, no, we support you. You can give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. And then one other thing. Um, they're the makers of, I love this book too, and y'all have been seeing me. This is what we did with the Jelly Arts book. This turned into a Hannah Mule commercial. Uh, I'm not just saying that, but I do love them. Uh, so this is the art journal. Is this? Okay, well, I'll show you one that's more started. So this is my book that I've been playing in um, with Jelly Arts, and this is a Hannah Mule book, and I absolutely love it. Okay, so that was it. I uh, <laughs> Yes, uh, Carol will pop, uh, she can respond to any comments that are in here. Only nice ones, though, because we're only nice to our sponsors. I'm also going to ask Carol, she doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to put her on the spot and see in February when we do the next uh, Your Artful Journey membership. I want to put together um, for the first 25 people who sign up a thank you for joining gift. And I have three sponsors in mind, and she's one of them. So I'm not going to put her on the spot right now, Carol. Okay. <laughs> You'll know if she said no if it's not in there. <laughs> and then I'll pay for it. It's fine. No, I need all the journals. I'm obsessed. I am literally, um, ever since she started, they sent me a, like, welcome to the Hannah Mule family gift pack. I don't know. I opened that box online, and I've been obsessed. And I am a paper snob. Paper snap. Okay. I love the postcards. I can't wait to get them. Uh, are we not? Are we not? Oh, I think I just got the okay in writing. Okay. I, Carol. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if this is no problemo. Hmm. Thank you, Carol. All right. So today, yes, I'm going to do a demo. Thank you so much. I do love the support of the companies that I work with, Dynasty Brush, Dare to be Artsy, Hannah Mule, Jelly Arts. I'm forgetting a couple of others. 
but I know they're there. All right. Uh, I'll think of them. I'm senile. Let's let's paint. Let's let's draw something. Let's release. Let's um, let's let's talk about. Oh, I can't. Let's sing that song. <laughs> I really, okay, let's autofocus this bad boy. All right, what are we going to do? Did I say dare to be artsy? Thank you. Hey, Tommy, are you on the payroll yet? I need to check with some people. <laughs> can, can I just make things happen here? I, I need to, all right, get my head together. Hmm. I would like to be drinking wine, but I am drinking um, nighty night tea. Oh, good. You ordered the stamps today, too. Yeah, we will have to make sure we get some good suppliers to tell you about uh, for Honey Mule. I know I had gotten a small list, but um, I know Carol is the be-all, know-all. I love talking to her, too, because I feel like my Midwest aunt accent comes out because she's um, in Wisconsin. So, all right. Um, you want to draw? Uh, I've done nothing. I know nothing, done nothing. But I thought I would, uh, this right now, this journal that I'm finishing up right now is five point, no, 5.5 inches by eight and a half inches. I'm going to be bumping it up soon. I feel the need to do something different. So I'm going to bump it up. I'm going to go a little larger. So you're wondering if you're tuning in, where does she get her ideas? <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm wondering that too. Sometimes I wake up to them. Um, sometimes they don't come at all. Uh, sometimes it's just it's just there. Um, I do use Sharpie, so this is an ultra fine Sharpie. I don't know what where I'm at right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, uh, Maureen says, need Hana Mule in Canada? That's a great question. I don't know about that either. What do I know, you wonder? Well, I know that I want to draw, and that's what I'm doing. So I would, I welcome you to draw along with me. I am, I am just, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of, kind of, I don't know, coming up with a new flower. Uh, if you're wondering where ideas come from, sometimes they just come and I have a color in my head or I have a something in my head, but, you know. Do I ever fish? Do you ever fish? Is that a question for me? I wish, I wish Sharpie would sponsor me. Oh, uh, there we go. Carol just gave her email, and I'll give you her cell phone. I'm kidding, Carol. I will not give you her cell phone. <laughs> Um, Donna asked me if I ever fish. The answer is yes. Are we playing charades? Sounds like, yeah. So my ideas just kind of pop into my little noggin and I go from there and that's where I'm at right now. So I'm just kind of, um, do you, I ever draw fish? Do you ever fish? So fish are on my list. I've gotten really into sunrises and sunsets of like, oh, this book is not done. I gotta go back in and fill these in. Oh, I got morning meditation coming up, so I'll fill these in easy. Um, oh, um, lately I've been obsessed with the ocean and the sun, uh, but I haven't drawn fish. This was a sun sunset picture from my vacation. Um, I picked different things. I have not tried fish, but I've been meaning, I wanna try sea turtles next. I really have gotten a little more comfortable in my drawing space, I guess. I draw a lot of things that I don't know if they truly exist in nature. So um, I understand sometimes when people tune in, they go, what the heck is she doing? And how is that going to even turn out into something? And I get it. It's, I don't know either. But um, lately, I, I, you know, this, that's just the space I create from. I would love Sharpie to sponsor me. If anybody, they should sponsor me. I am. So today I am, I, I have a background in my brain, which doesn't mean that's going to turn into anything, but. 
let's see how fast I can come up with something. Yes, sea turtles is something that I'm crazy uh, about. So I, um, if you're wondering what this is, I don't truly know, but we're going to, I wanted to draw something. This Sharpie is about to give up on me. All right, oh, look at I'm getting lot, water lilies. I've drawn tons of water lilies. But this is, I just am starting with just a basic something. And this is just floating around in Z Noggin. And then I'm going to come up with a, I, like a vivid background. I'm kind of hoping, I really only wanted, really only wanted two or three. I can't do an odd number of, I cannot do an even number of, uh, well, maybe I can. Maybe I just leave it. Two, only two flowers? Like, that's it there? Oh, regular turtles and tortoises, please. You know what? I just posted a, a, tomorrow on my Facebook page, and maybe I'll change it a little bit. I wrote, what would you like to see me draw next? So let me make sure that's included. I'd love for you to leave me comments, because you guys are what fills my soul. And I'm doing a deep dive right now into my purpose and what my, you know, uh, plan is for 2021 and where my focus is. You now, my focus is always your artful journey, but I really want to make sure I'm always bringing new stuff to the table. Does that make sense? And fish. Okay, we got a lot of fish requests. I'll, I'll do that. Hmm. All right. So... I'm going to pull out some watercolors here. I'm going to, you know, this was sent to me. I don't know what colors are in this. This is an Elizabeth Craft set. Um, it kind of came broken, but I didn't even, I didn't even, um, you know, the great thing is, um, here's a secret. If you ever get watercolors that are broken, um, all you got to do is put the pieces back in there and wet them down. And you'll get them all to go back in there. See, this was all shattered. This was shattered. That was shattered. That was shattered. I just stuck all the pieces back in, wet it down. I lost some of it, but it turned out good. Um, I'd like to see a video or time lapse of one of your sunset. I have lots of inspiration for those. Oh, okay. Coming your way. You'd like me to paint music? Or do you want me to sing? <laughs> all right. I'm loving this. I need to go through the comments, but tomorrow... Um, this will drive me absolutely bonkers. Any sea life. I love sea life. This is going to drive me crazy, crazy, but I'm not going to let it. I'm going to try and not let the crazy get to me right now. I'm going to do the background first, which I normally don't do. This, I, I want a third flower in here. I don't think I can handle it if it's not in here. I just don't. Let's, let's just face it. Let's, we can't, oh, well, now this, now I, now Sharpie's not going to sponsor me if I don't get this Sharpie to work. Watch me regret this because I just have to add this. If you're wondering what kind of flower this is, I don't know, so... Uh, you don't need to bother telling me I don't know what the kind of flower this is. I don't know. I just wanted another one in there. All right, good. It looks like daffodils, somebody says. All right, cool. I don't know if I want to use this because I don't even know what all the colors are, but let's give it a go. Um, I always dare people to try new things. In the postcard challenge this week, I have seen those who told me they can absolutely not draw a stick figure, my favorite line in the whole wide world, um, to drawing some amazing stuff and, and working on my, on my designs. So I, that's my whole purpose. And I want to share my love for drawing. I'm looking for the biggest brush that I have that is in reasonable shape. This looks like it is it. All right. Oh, the colors are on the back of the packaging? I threw that away. <laughs> well, you didn't mention that. Oh, look at this handy dandy color thing. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> well, look at this. I am fit to be.
be tied. Look at this. I normally do a little swatch. Okay, just so you know. <laughs> I'll be using these on Friday too. Joyce from uh, sent me this lovely gift. And you guys, hey, Wendy. <laughs> hey, look, I found the color guide. I thought that was awfully weird it didn't have one. Well, that's F. That is how to use. Okay. All right. We don't need that. <laughs> is anybody... I don't even need the word color guide. I mean, I think I could figure out that it's a color guide. <sighs> you guys. Right now, Carol with Hannah Mule saying, Wow, really great spokesperson. She's so observant. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, look. Isn't that fantastic? This is so... <laughs> I'm going to do the background first, which I rarely do. Oh, my God. It has Prussian blue in it. <gasps> really excited, you guys. All right. I'm going to do the background. I'm going to leave those flowers. I'm not going to wet those down. Oh. I don't drink coffee, guys. If you're wondering why, it should be pretty fairly apparent right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. And these leaves are going to kind of actually... I, I, <laughs> Carol's still here. Dang it. <laughs> I think these leaves need to just be part of the background until I decide what color they're going to be. All right. And if you're new... I just like to share how things work, my, maybe my creative process. Uh, today with the postcard challenge, it was fun because uh, the past two days we had drawn first. So everybody had, their, everybody had their drawing utensils out and they were ripping and roaring, ready to go. I picked up a paintbrush and I started painting and they were like, wait, that isn't how we've done it the last two days. So this is um, how things are going to go. By the way, my friend Oscar just popped on. Hi, Oscar. All right, so um, we've learned a lot. Uh, number one would be check the packaging. Whenever you get something new, that's a handy, handy piece <laughs> of information. All right, so I'm going to be digging in to for sure. I think the flowers are going to be rose. Um, I'm going to be, oh, I, uh, I, there's so many choices that I, okay, turquoise. There's so many choices, I don't even know where to begin. So let's just see what happens. Okay, whoops, what did I just say? Keep it out of the flower. And then I need something to give this a boost. Oh, how about a couple of zigzag albums? Because everything's just gonna go so, oh, look at this. <laughs> look at that little kickstand. Okay, perfect, I just, oh, did I, yes, I think today if you were present in the in the challenge that we're doing, it was kind of like everybody went, wait, what is she doing? Why is she painting? It was that. This paper is watercolor paper. We're just going to, we're going to, oh, we're, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, we're just going to see what all these colors do when they're mixed up, huh? Let's just do that. Uh-oh, I'm being texted. Does that mean somebody's saying, you're, no. That's my COVID notification to let me know how great our area is doing, so she said sarcastically. All right, I'm not going to care if anything goes in to um, the, uh, I don't even know what color I just dug into, but okay, there we go. Hmm. This is watercolor paper, and I had to put it, prop it up a little bit because I'm getting to the end of the book, and oh my god, indigo, oh, indigo, oh yeah, okay, we're going to, this background is going to probably end up real dark because I can feel it, I can feel it. So this is what you do when you get a new set of watercolors. You just dig in and you figure out what feels good. And oh, is there oh Prussian blue? I'm in just oh, I'm in just happy heaven right now. Oh my God, I love Prussian blue. It's like my favorite color. Hi, and 
Australia? I think I'm just going to go as dark as I possibly can. Like, look at this. We're just going to keep... Oh, yeah. I'm just talking to myself. Hello from the middle of Canada. You guys, this is fantastic. And then I'm going to dump some... Dump? That sounds nice. That's an artist term. Dump. I'm just going to dump some other colors, like some mauves and magentas in there. How about that? Yeah. And just start seeping up that water that we threw down. Yes. Look at this. We're not even rinsing the brush off. We're just going for it. Oh my God. Wendy, I cannot wait. Tell us the brand of the paint, please. It is, um, these are Elizabeth Crafts. These were sent to me from the lovely people at, um, you probably, I'm guessing, could get the paints from them. Wow, look at that. Because they sent them to me. Aren't they just lovely? Isn't she lovely? Elizabeth Craft Designs. Is that what I said? I don't know what I said. Okay, remember how I said I was going to do the leaf? Well, It'll get done. I don't know what color it's going to be. I'm just, I'm just digging into various colors. Oh my goodness. They are very vibrant. I'm having tremendous love with them right now. We're getting along just fine. I used them in bed last night. Pam, chicky, pam, pam. Kidding. I was alone drawing, just so you know. All right. <laughs> okay, we got Canadians in the house. This Prussian blue is making my life so happy. Oh, who is loving on just these colors? You know what makes it really helpful, too, is that brilliant color chart that came with it that I threw out. Didn't even look on the other side of the box. All right, I'm not going crazy about anything other than just wanting to add and make this as rich as possible, okay? Yes. <laughs> and by the way, if you like this, please share with your friends. See, I'm not afraid to try new things. I pulled this box out. And the green, whatever this green is. Yeah. All right. Now I need hints of... Oh, crimson. Well, crimson, scarlet. What's the difference between, nope, scarlet seems red. Crimson seems more. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Not trying to make mud. I'm just trying to, oh, wait, what's this rose color? Maybe rose would have been, yeah, it's about the same. All right. Just letting it, don't want to make mud, start to make a little bit of mud. Um, I'm going to have to go into rehab for watercolor paint addiction. Obsessed. I don't think there's a problem with that. And I'm just, now I'm just throwing some water on it. See, just throw some water on it and then just let things run around. Yeah. And if you start to make a little bit of mud, like this green doesn't like it over here, just take your towel, wipe it up a little bit. There we go. See? There we go. Oh, Bobby Gordon. Hi, Tracy winds up. Bobby Gordon's here. We can all start. <laughs> yeah, see if you just start to, things start to get a little muddy. Just don't fret. 
All right. And then, you know how I said I didn't really care? Yeah. Yes. See, that water just lets things... I love it. All right. I'm not going to keep going. I'm in Ontario. Well, welcome, everybody. Take your shoes off. Stay a while. All right. I really want this background to be kind of as dark as possible, but if it starts to lighten up, just be, oops, that's fine. And let's go as deep as I possibly can. Well, why don't we go deep green? Um, oh yeah. The good news is if this deep green goes and runs into everything else, it's not the end of the world because it's green and the background is April said, I love your creativity. Thank you, April. Um, I tend to be a lot more gutsy when I'm painting in front of you guys than I do sometimes when I sit down by myself because it's like, oh, I don't know. So if they start to blend, no bother to me. Um, the background, uh, this is a Impressionism piece. No, I don't know what it is. It's just, a, I'm just playing. Oh, I'm, now I'm into seven greens over here. Wow, these are really vivid, though. I'm kind of happy. They're passing the Tracy test. I love your approach. Non-destructive. Okay, um... Uh, Here's my approach. It's just a piece of paper. If this goes bad, first off, I'll never upload it to YouTube. I'll delete it from my Facebook page. I'll tell you that you were insane when you tell me about the day it went bad. And we'll just forget it happened. That's my prerogative. It is just a piece of paper, though, and this is my idea book. So this is my treat your journal like your idea book and one that there are no bad ideas. Because how many times do you tell people in life there are no bad ideas? Oh, and I just want you all to know, remember last week I said I was going in for a little test next this past weekend? I passed said test, and um, now I'm in a 10-day waiting period. So, oh, okay. Look at that. It's just kind of, I know it's really crazy in the background. I promise I have a method to this madness, but I don't know what the method is. So let's just, let's just hope it stays kind of crazy and let it go. Oh, it's just a piece of paper, Monique. I actually have a money-back guarantee that if things go really bad on, you know, I will send you a regular piece of paper in the mail and as a replacement. <laughs> it's not really a guarantee. It just means I'll send you a piece of paper just because I'm being... It's just a piece of paper. I did. I don't even know if the tape I lay down is going to withstand all the... Oh, what's this big mess right here that I didn't paint? Um, thanks, guys. A little heads up when I don't paint something would be nice. Like, hey, you missed a spot. <laughs> I was waiting for Bobby to get here, so you guys... <laughs> They have the. Now I do need this to dry. Oh, Julie said I love this. Well, Julie, I expect you're going to be giving this a try. I was okay. Oh. Uh, so, let's just see what happens if this dries. This is beautiful. Pam says. All right. Well, I'm not sure it's beautiful, but it's it's there. <laughs> All right. It's not. By the way, I figured up how I figured out how to um, hook up two more cameras, and I'm going to hook up two more cameras and one that you could see where I'm painting. So we're going to speed this up because I hate to wait for paint dry. It's like watching paint dry. We're going to see how vivid these colors actually stay. <laughs> Just order the paints. 
You guys should be going to BoQ Creations and ordering from them. I know I don't know anything about their ordering practices, but I'm sure they're fantastic. This is uh, what I'm using on Friday. And yes, I was going for like just this. Like I do like the way they're drying. I know this is a little darker than I normally do, but I don't know. It's I have the right to do whatever I want to. It's my journal and I'll make a mess if I want to. What? All right, I'm really dying to go into this rose right here. That is what I'm most excited about. Where are you, Rose? BoQ Creations, there it goes. Thank you very much, Wendy. I have to tell you, Wendy, I wasted all of last night on one little thing trying to set up the video. Okay. I was really mad at myself last night, but got it done. And by the way, everybody, um, I am, I made a decision today that I will be teaching in Oklahoma in May because I was supposed to be teaching, um, but I'm not going to submit for October. So I, I'm trying to live with that decision right now because I'm weighing all of the amazing things that are coming my way. And I was thinking about that today. So hopefully if anybody wants to see me in middle America, in um, in Oklahoma in May, you'll come see me. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir, Bob. Now, I'm going to dip my water into the brush, dip my brush into the water, and then I'm going to do this because, whoops, I'm going to do it again. I don't want this whole thing to be super dark. Oh, whoops. These are some vivid watercolors. I'm going to tone this down a little bit. Mm. I really am loving this pink color. I think that's what attracted me to this, so... And I'm going to just go really dark down here, really dark down here. And I feel like I got... I need a baby wipe because I don't want this whole thing to be so... There we go. Oh, those are some... I actually am like having to push them back a little bit. Go, calm down, calm down. There we go. Well, there's one way to calm it down. All right. I really don't know what kind of flowers these are, but there you go. There we go. Now, that rose is like, this is just super vibrant. Okay, so I'm just going to wet the brush down, and then I'm not going to do anything. There we go. Except for now I have too much water. So pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. And then I'll do this again. Karen and Connie will be, oh my God. So I had the hardest time deciding, but I think I'm not going to submit for October. Uh, I just want, there's too many other things I want planned. I have planned like going to see my family and I didn't realize it was in the, I didn't realize it was in the same year. So, oh, watching your process is truly teaching me to relax more. Oh my goodness. I rarely have people tell me that when they watch me, they get relaxed, but that means a lot to me. Okay. So just, just play, just play. That's all we do on Wednesdays. We play, there's no mistakes. There's no wrongs. That's really what we do on your artful journey. Nobody, there are no mistakes. We don't live with those. Okay. I really, this page is so crazy, isn't it? Has anybody ever seen me draw like this? I don't know who she is, but I'd like to be introduced to her. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
I'm glad. I hope what my process does is um, it makes you do this yourself. Don't be afraid. That's why I had somebody say to me, oh, you show so much stuff on, you know, Wednesdays. Well, how am I going to get people to try what I'm doing? Or, you know, how am I going to get you to try something new if, you, if I'm not doing it? Yeah, I'm liking the vibrancy in these colors, too. Now, I'm going to go around here, so that's not going to, I don't know why I'm even playing around with it. Okay, so leave it alone. Leave it alone. Walk away from it. I do need this to dry though. You know, believe it or not, a lot of my ideas do come from Wednesday nights too. It's because, oh, um, this is a heat gun. You can use a heat gun or blow dryer. Uh, I just want to speed it up so you guys are not watching paint dry. That could conceivably get very boring. All right, now, I want to come in here and I want those flowers to stick out. So we're going to just, now I, I feel like this Sharpie is on the edge of, um, I'm on the edge of glory. Um, no, I feel like it needs to be thrown out, but all right. I don't know, this was just kind of a fun little thing. So I took one thing off my list by not submitting to another show. And I've been really digging deep about like sharing my story and why art means so much to me and my passion for this. Because I also have a lot of people saying, I don't, I don't understand what you do for a living, which I think you're always going to get people who say that. So um, I'm all ears. I have been sharing more in this year than I ever have in my whole life. And it sure feels wonderful. This is like a, a blend between like a tulip and a water lily. And a, it's, it's like a flower on steroids. I don't... Sure is kind of interesting, isn't it? I think we're going to have to go even darker. Oh, Vicki says she is so loving this. So I guess I'm on the right track. I, I didn't... You know, I love, I love people to look at my book and do this and go, Oh my God, every page is so different. That's... That is something that means a lot to me. So sometimes it might be a color that attracts me. I don't, you know, like I said, I don't really know what these flowers are, but I'm, I'm feeling like there's something coming out of them. And then I'm just going to shade up the bottoms a little bit. And I'm going to darken up around here. Oh, good. I love when people play along. So Friday, it's 9 o'clock on Boke Q Creations page. Um, I already set it up, and I believe I... If I haven't shared it to my Facebook page, I will. I'm going to share it in the um, postcard challenge group. Um, I'm going to share it. Dare to be RT is going to share it. So it's going to be like a fun hangout. I don't have a Well, wait a minute. I work from home on Friday. I don't have a tremendous amount of time. So expect something to go kind of quick, fast, and easy. Wow. All right. I, I guess... This decided to have little tentacles that came out. Why? Because it's a mixed up flower. And this is like the giant bud of the next one. And this is a young one. 
and it's just, I don't know. Oh, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to hire um, Wendy to um, keep me straight over here. Cause Please tell Joyce this. these, these paints were a wonderful gift because we're going to. Now, unlike I normally do, I normally will explain everything I'm doing, but I just seem to be lost in what I'm doing right now. So, I don't... Somebody has possessed my body, but I'm loving... After days like today, sometimes I just want to collapse in bed with just, like, the sheer creative joy of it. Okay, what else do we need? These colors are breathtaking as in a whole picture. I really am, I, 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 here's the only thing I'm going to do to this. I, I decided, okay? And I don't want to use black. I want to use Prussian blue hue. These are fantasy flowers. By the way, you guys, I went in and took those scratcher lottery tickets that I bought the kids, and they gave me the amounts that they won, and then I paid them cash, and it doesn't seem like I paid them very much cash, and I had like $56 when I came home. <laughs> so I was like, okay, who didn't come clean with their money? All right. So this is Prush oh, this is Prussian Blue Hue all over my fingertips, and I'm going to tell you... Um, what I'm going to do beside make a tremendous mess, okay, that would be number one. Get that off my hands. I'm going to put this on here. Okay, that's all dry. It's like a paint palette, but it's from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to get a very thick stencil brush. Oh. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to brush off 90, see that color is what I'm using, that Prussian blue, I just feel like that's going to be a good, I'm going to come around the edges, Ooh, the stencil brush is like, ugh, it's a, not a good one, well, it's, I'm stuck with it now because I don't feel like dirty in the middle. I know, uh, Elizabeth Crafts, is this, I know her from all the trade shows. I'm going to have to, like, email her and tell her why didn't she tell me about these, if that's the. Okay, I'm just taking Prussian Blue Hue instead of, like, a real thick black or anything like that. Sometimes Prussian, this stencil brush, I think it's, like, falling apart in my hands. It's not a good one, it's. I like my dynasty ones. Okay. And then I'm going to do one other thing. I think I've said one other thing six times, but it is 623. Um, I gave you a lot more. Okay, there we go. That's just a little bit of a right around the edges. Okay. Then I'm going to throw this over there, throw that over there. And I'm going to do my Stabilo Aquarellable pencil just in a few spots. Look at this. Is this, do I get an award for like the biggest nubbiest pencil in the whole wide world? All right. I use this thing down to the very last drop. So I'm sharpening it. Look at this. It's, this is, this is just. Oh my goodness. Did anybody enjoy this half as much as I did? Is anybody still here? I don't even know if anybody's still watching. I got lost. I got lost. All right. Oh, well, that was certainly good for me. <laughs> I'm just adding a little bit of like shadow to the bottom of the flowers and just that's all I'm doing I'm not anything no secret here just going to run a little pencil around here okay and we're going to take the tape off 
because why do we love taking the tape off? It's the most relaxing part. Now, pick some random colors, ones that don't make mud, like I did. Okay, we're still not done with this thing. I can't find it half the time. Um, here we go. I'm, I'm taking the, oh, please, please make this clean. I was really worried about this edge. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but I, <laughs> you guys, there's still so many people here. Okay. Yes, I'm done. <laughs> I, you know what I need to do? I need to do the removing of the tape. It's some sort of like sexy music on TikTok. <laughs> All right. I take a photo of this. I, ta-da! <laughs> Does anybody ever, here's my question to end the night. Or is this just me? Oh, Charlene, hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here's my question for you all. Joyce Schmidt. Um, Joyce, please give a link to uh, BoQ Creations for this. Um, and by the way, I'd like to thank Wendy for telling me where the color chart was. <laughs> that really made tonight go well. Um, I'll be using those Friday. Um... I, I can't even keep up with the comments. Here is my questions for you all. Look at, <laughs> this will be my screenshot. Does anybody feel like when you get done with a creative session, such as we just had, that you just wanna like, that was like the most wonderful release and you just feel like, um, I don't know, like smoking a cigarette. I don't smoke. Um, I would love to go camping with you guys. Uh, it has to be a blast. <laughs> Only if you drink a lot. Okay. Um, uh, yes, BoQ Creations. I hope I'm saying that right. Bokeh, BoQ. I, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, first off, Joyce, thank, for, thank you for that really um, thoughtful gift. Thank you. There she is. Um, we are going to be live on their website. I'm taking it over at 9 a.m. on Friday morning, and we're going to be doing Dare to be Artsy stuff. If you're wondering what Dare to be Artsy is, Dare to be Artsy is um, a stamp company that I have stamps with. There. Oh, whoops. Wine. Um, there we go. Um, we're going to be using those stamps. So if you're curious about stamping and art journaling, um, that's what we'll be doing. I'm going to be real and tell you, I, I I'm going to be real. Um, I'm going to be telling you this, that, um, these are the stamp sets I know we're going to be using because Joyce asked me to use them. I will be using both of these. I already kind of have it in my brain what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be doing something with this, this flower and a lot of hearts. Cathartic. Thank you. I really, um, I was actually quite nervous because I felt like this morning that I used all my creativity with the postcard challenge. So I was really thinking I wasn't going to be able to come up with anything. And then I had seen a background and that's what I put in my brain. That background seemed to work. These paints seem to align with that. I actually know Elizabeth or Els. So that's kind of cool. I did love this set. I was um, I used it last night in bed, um, and that um, is 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 great. Everything kind of aligned tonight. And for those of you who don't know, my word of 2020 is aim. So I'm continuing to aim high and share as much as I possibly can. And for those of you who are wondering, Friday is completely free. It is on their Facebook page, but I'll also share it to the Postcard Challenge group, and I'll share it to um, your Artful Journey members, and I'll just make sure you guys all know where the video is. Um, okay, Susan's phone is slowly going to sleep. It's 6.30. Our time is up. I want to thank you, and I want to thank Wendy as well for telling me where that color chart is. And for Hannah Mule, 
um, for sponsoring me in such wonderful ways. Uh, we'll be giving away three zigzag albums on Friday. And pick out three winners, random winners, please, by Friday. Uh, okay. I hope you all join me next Wednesday night at 5.30 for another episode of Facebook Live. Um, that's, Wendy is so helpful. She told me where the color chart was. I had thrown it away in the box, and so we cut it out. All right. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, Anne, for carrying on. Again, if you do want to be notified about uh, your artful journey, thank you to my peeps. Um, you can get on the wait list, and we'd love to have you join us. Uh, we're the most loving, loving group. Uh, so join me Friday. Tomorrow morning, I should be seeing some of you um, for the postcard challenge. I'm going to clean up, get my water clean, get everything ready for tomorrow morning. And just so you know, Friday morning, the video is pre-recorded, and I'm going to load that. Thank you, Carol, for staying this full time. Um, I'm going to preload that video on Friday because we're going right over to um, Joyce's website to do the Facebook Live. So there will be no breaks in between, okay? Have a wonderful evening. I'm actually going to grab a glass of wine, tuck myself into bed, watch the remainder of The Crown, and I will see most of you or some of you for the postcard challenge first thing in the morning. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you for playing along with me.